Marketing and Technology, and I'm here today with Cameron Doherty, who's the CEO or Chief Executive, as he prefers to have it said, of PressBay. Uh, Cameron, why don't you tell our viewers what it is that your company does? Our company is um, one of the 91 wallets out there, mobile wallets. Um, we make it ridiculously easy for people to buy stuff using their mobile device. And um, when I say mobile device, we're really focusing on the mobile web at this point. Um, we haven't seen a need for the, the NFC side of the, the house at this point, so we're focusing on the web. You mentioned the term mobile wallet. For those who are wondering what the heck is a mobile wallet, how do you define that? How does that work in terms of press pay? Um, it's a place where you can securely store your credit slash payment information where people can't get at it, um, where you can have access to it but other people can't. It's we really took the um, analogy of a, of a wallet that you keep physically in your pocket and we just moved it from, from your leather wallet into a mobile device, which you still keep in your pocket. Now, in terms of uh, retailers or merchants or individuals who have loyalty programs who want to use the service or the application, how do they go about doing that? It, it, that's a depends. Um, it's as simple as making a choice when you're checking out. Um, some of that loyalty and reward information is tied on the back end from your specific card. So it, it really is, depends. We're just architected to, um, to take advantage of all of that. In, in terms of uh, value in mobile payments and mobile commerce these days, obviously, if there's not value for the end user, you get no traction. If it has no value for the retailer, they won't adopt it, you get no traction. And then almost all the other questions you face in life are subsidiary to those two things. Uh, what's the value proposition that you see for end users and then possibly for retailers? For the end user, it's the ability to check out on a mobile device very, very quickly. Now if you try to input your credit card information into the data fields provided on a regular checkout page, I mean, if you can even fat thumb them in, even on an iPad, it's difficult. Um, so for the user, it's a, it's a speed to, to check out. For the, for the retailer, you know, there's, there's some security issues around that. And um, it's really an uptick in, in revenue of lost opportunity. It's a, another place where you can touch your, your customer and potential customer and say, hey, we have something, you have a, an inspiration right now, you have your mobile device, buy it right now. In terms of uh, propagation and getting traction in the marketplace, how are you approaching partners, prospects? Uh, have you got verticals in mind, or what's the adoption uh, tactic? Our adoption tactic was to um, approach the wine industry first and really use that as our, our test bed. And that's gone, you know, that's gone okay. I mean, we, I wish we were a little bit further ahead than we are, but, you know, it's, it's been a good test bed. But... Um, We've just landed a monster, monster deal, which I unfortunately can't share any information about. But um, look for a big press release in, the, in about the middle of, uh, of April. And it takes us to a scale that I didn't think our company would achieve even five years. I mean, it's just a monster of a, of a deal. In the wine industry, why that vertical? Well, PayPal and, and others didn't play well there because it's an alcoholic beverage. And so we saw it as being an opportunity to help an industry that needs what we, we have. When I'm in a restaurant and I enjoy a bottle of wine, by the time I get home, I've forgotten what that was. If I could buy that sitting there in the restaurant and have a case shipped to my house, it seemed to make sense. The second reason is a lot of CEOs or people in the executive suites in other industries, they're wine drinkers. So why not introduce them to us through something that they have a passion for and so when, we, when they see us again as for use in their own industry, we thought, that just seems to make a little bit of sense. So it was a, a marketing tactic. And it's fun. And I love wine. <laughs> Cameron, thanks very much for being with us today. Thank you. And thanks for watching.